If you guys are looking to buy or sell any of your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins in preparation for Team of the Season, check out u4gm.com and use code ELITE at checkout. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Sean, aka Elite, and today I've got so much content to cover for you guys. It's an absolute banger, so I'm glad you clicked on today's video. With that being said, we've got La Liga Team of the Season leaks already out, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, and we've got pretty much the entire team that is going to come out on Friday at 6 p.m. UK, as well as some investments that could work very well going into Friday. We're going to cover the investments from the last video, but one really, really special to, uh, thing about today's video is that there is some sort of glitch right now to where you can pack La Liga Tots cards, even though they're not supposed to be out yet, in this Tots player pack that I've got, okay? And that is not a joke. You might have it as well if you haven't opened up your TOTS player pack from your objectives. If you guys went and completed the objective to get the TOTS player pack where you did the daily login SBC, then you might have this as well. I'm not sure if that was in milestones or, or regular objectives. Let me scroll to the bottom and we'll find it. Here it is. Tots daily login upgrade. If you guys completed 22 of them, then you got a Tots player pack, as you guys can see under my uh, camera here. I've had this in my store for the last couple of days. Honestly, I just forgot to open it after I completed all of those objectives, and it's still sitting there. But now we've actually found that La Liga Tots are in packs. Now, this is a little bit misleading because not all packs have La Liga cards. Only this one guaranteed Tots pack has it. And so, with that being said, we've seen Pedri packed in these uh, packs. We've seen Modric packed in these packs. Quite a few, actually. And I'm going to show you all of the leaks here as we go through because we've got uh, Chiellini coming as MLS Tots. That's going to be the mini release during this next week. So we're going to get La Liga Santander and we're going to get MLS and I'm going to open up that TOTS player pack here in a minute. But let me show you all of the cards that we could pack in this TOTS player pack as we've seen uh, David Garcia get packed. He's the center back, kind of a blurry picture right there. We've seen Marino and... Um, Oh, well, Ramsdale was in the uh, the last team of the season. But we have Marino. We've also got Gabri Vega in these packs. Um, I'm just kind of scrolling through some of them that people have actually packed already. Marcos Llorente is going to be a very cracked card, especially if they give him all of the different um, position changes where he can play center mid or right back or right mid or even center forward. Um, Fakir is in the team of the season. All of these have already been packed. They're confirmed in the game. But even though we don't have every single one of them right now, here are all the cards that are confirmed to be in the promo, even if the stats aren't exactly perfect. We've got Ter Stegen. I don't think there's any surprise there. I mean, Barcelona have given up like less than 13 goals in the entire season. That's unbelievable. So, of course, their goalkeeper is getting in. Javi Galan uh, is going to be a left back. We've already seen those four right there. Benzema, of course, is getting in. Then we've also got Vinicius Jr., and he's going to be uh, one of the cards that we uh, might make some coins off of today. And then we've also got Lewandowski. Then uh, right below that, we've got Alex Balde at left back. Then we've also got Pedri right here. Sorry, it's lagging a little bit as I scroll across. Kunde is uh, the right back. He might be able to play center back as well. We'll see. And then, of course, Ter Stegen. We've got Tati Castellanos, uh, the MLS loan to Girona, uh, who scored four goals on Real Madrid a few weeks ago. is getting a moments card that actually looks kind of cracked. If they give him four-star, four-star, or maybe a five-star weak foot or something like that, that's going to be an insane card. We've also got Molina and Griezmann. Griezmann's obviously going to be a super expensive card. That was one of the really hyped-up cards during Path to Glory. Then we've also got Eder Militao, Valverde, and Modric. Uh, for Real Madrid. And I think that is all of the La Liga leaks that we have so far. So with that being said, boys, let's hop in to the TOTS player pack and see if we can get one of these big boys. And of course, we might just get an absolute stinker from, you know, one of the leagues that have already passed. But let's see what we can get out of this TOTS pack. And it's going to be Saudi. Not what we're looking for. One of the worst, honestly. I mean, it is obviously an 89, so it could have been lower rated, but 
I mean, just not a card that I would use. He's got 59 passing and 70 dribbling. Maybe uh, a couple months ago, this would have been a cracked center back card, but not anymore. That is going straight into an SBC for me. But speaking of SBCs, we had a couple of SBCs drop yesterday, one of them being Rafael Guerrero. We knew this was coming. We knew he was going to get a tot. I wish they would have boosted his physicality a little bit more, but they did give him that four-star, four-star, and you can play him at center mid, so it's not a bad card at all. A lot of people are going out and doing this SBC, especially if you already have a couple of Bundesliga cards that you got out of red picks or guaranteed tots packs, or you did the Royce SBC as well. This could be a great addition to your team. And we're starting to see the market go up a little bit, but mainly the market is going up due to the Bundesliga tots upgrade pack, which we will also do during this video to give us another chance at getting a better team of the season than what we just packed. And it required an 80 three in an 86 rated squad but the 86 rated squad required a team of the season card which means that you're going to go with one higher rated guy probably 88 or 89 rated and then you're going to go with a bunch of 84s and 85s to complete the squad then in the 83 rated squad you needed to have an 83 rated team but you needed two 85s which also targeted those 85 cards just like this SBC right there which shot our 85 rated investments up today so if you had SBC fodder still sitting in your transfer list, which I did. Of course, I've been saving 85s for quite a while. I also had some 91s, which I lost coins on, but I made much more off of these 85s today, where we picked these cards up a little while ago for about eight to, you know, 7.5 to 8,000 coins, now selling them for 10,000 coins each. So made a lot of profit there. We're going to go ahead and clear the transfer list. And now we've got a clean slate We've sold our investments from the Bundesliga Tots inv uh, investments as this Bundesliga Tots has been released. But let me go ahead and show you guys some of these card prices with the Bundesliga team of the season real quick. Because right now, we're seeing a little bit of an inflation, which we knew was coming. But let's start with Kimmich. This was a card that we invested in at 330k. He's now up to about 360 to 370. And over the course of the last day, you can see exactly when... This card started rising at the content release. You can see he got down pretty low over the course of the last couple of days. We also saw that uh, release of the store pack, which I'm going to show you right now, with which gives you three 81 rated plus Bundesliga players. And if you haven't opened it yet, it is still there. In fact, I'll open it for the content right now just for you guys. It's really not a good idea to open this with coins. I'll be quite honest with you, but... We do it for the content. So this is the pack right here. It gives you a player pick of three different cards. We just lost 50,000 50, coins. I suggest against it, but that is what it is. But as you can see, it's tradable, right? It's tradable. So anybody who got a blue card out of that Bundesliga pack or player pick right there ended up just listing it onto the market, and it caused a huge market crash for these cards. And you can see exactly when that happened. It went down to 370 yesterday. His card got down to about 340. His low point was at 325. We got in at 330. So a good time to buy was right before content release with that guaranteed pack. But when people open that pack, they panic sell their card. They hope to get that uh, card back. And when they don't actually pack the card that they wanted, they go out and they buy them back. Or they might pack a card that they want to use and they need to go out and get cards that link to it. So if you packed yourself a Delict center back card, you might go out and buy Kimmich to link with him in that squad to get chemistry. And you can see he shot up all the way to 370,000 coins, got up a little, uh, a little bit above that. I would say take your profit and go. You're looking at about 20K to 25K, depending on when you bought this card. And I don't think that over the course of the next week, this card is going to be rising a ton, at least if you compare it to what happened during the Premier League team of the season last week. Most of these cards have dropped ever since they've gone out of packs. So some of them have risen a little bit, but as you guys can see, it's not like they take a huge, huge rise after Friday. I, th I think selling on Thursday is the move. We'll take a look at Bukayo Saka. I haven't actually looked at him uh, specifically, but for most of these cards, yeah, as you guys can see, it's on Friday. After they go out of packs, they kind of lose interest with the market. Everybody moves on to that next league. So nobody was focused on Premier League anymore. Instead, people were getting 
Bundesliga Tots cards for free in their player picks or for free um, out of packs they've saved, and they're stri starting to build around them, which means that they can go out and sell some of the uh, Premier League cards that they had from last week. So these cards have gone down. It's not like he's crashing anymore, but they have kind of steadily dropped over the last couple of days. But the big drop comes over the weekend. So you see that rise that comes from Wednesday to Thursday, and if we take a look at the hourly graph on these cards, you can see that rise that goes up on Thursday. These cards, this is where we invested in at that low point this week, and we're selling hopefully right there. But we don't want to hold that card into Friday because bad things happen over the weekend, as you guys can see. So I wouldn't hold on to any of your investments for Bundesliga Tots any longer. I'd say take your profit as much as you get and uh, move on. Even if it's not a ton of profit, I would say it's better to take those coins right now then lose coins later in the weekend. So I would go ahead and sell. And the same thing goes for Saudi League players who have actually already started coming down back from their inflation on Tuesday. So that's my take on all of these cards. Next, let's go ahead and complete our guaranteed Bundesliga Tots pack and see what we get. I have quickly found a use for Mr. Tombakti. So hopefully he will turn into a much better team of the season after I submit this squad, we are going to get a Bundesliga Tots upgrade pack. So let's see if we can pack ourselves Jude Bellingham. That way, I have a good reason to go out and do Marco Royce and Guerrero's SBC to get some Dortmund links to him. I guess being a Dortmund fan should probably already be good enough reason, but I'll tell you what, we did just waste 50,000 coins on a dumb store pack. So with that being said, give us a little bit more motivation, EA. Hook me up with something big. It's going to be German. It's going to be terrible. I get, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not great. It's not great. And I do not need left wings anymore because I packed Son in our last video. And we also got St. Maximin two videos ago. So I don't really think that we're going to be using much of Leroy Sané. But how much does he actually go for on the market right now? He is oh, 42,000 coins. Nice. You know what? Tombaki doesn't even sound that bad anymore. I really wish I would have just kept him. Our pack luck today is no bueno. I mentioned this a little bit in our last video, but I'm going to bring it back up as we're getting closer to Friday. These cards that already exist for La Liga that have good links like Rodrigo, which was from the community team of the season, is now coming back into play because of La Liga Tots dropping on Friday. So this card, although it's not going to be in packs, it will be linking to a lot of cards that people are going to want to get or already get, like Vinicius Jr. If you pack Vinicius Jr., the first thought is probably hyperlink to Rodrigo, right? But this card's not going to be in packs. The demand is going to go up. The supply is not going to go up. Right now, it's 1.26 million. You are paying a little bit more than what you would have paid a couple days ago when we shouted it out the first time, but it's still not a terrible deal. And the reason I say that is because when we look at Bernardo Silva from the community team of the season going in to Premier League team of the season, look at what his card did when it went out of packs. This card went out of packs on this Friday here. There is a huge spider on my wall. I'm going to have to deal with that here in a minute. Kind of scary. But he skyrocketed in price all the way to 1.7 mil by the end of the week. Okay, I got to deal with this before he gets away. A lot of you guys might ask why I needed the vacuum to kill the spider rather than just using a paper towel and getting rid of it. And to that, I say let's change the topic. Spiders are scary. So with that being said, we can see the Bernardo Silva rise in price here. 1 million to 1.7 mil. Is Rodrigo going to do that? No, he's not going to rise by 700,000 coins. That would be kind of a pipe dream. But let's go ahead and take a look at Coman and what he did Last week, Coman right here, his card is up to 550k, but as you can see, there's only a couple listed before he's 590, so he is still rising. As you guys can see down here, his card uh, got down to about 420,000 coins um, before Bundesliga Tots came out. So this was during Premier League Tots when obviously he didn't link to much. Uh, he got down to 400k and has risen continuously. He's up to 550 now. We are going to see a rise with Rodrigo. We're going to see a rise with a couple other La Liga cards that are meta, still keep up with the game, but don't get really replaced by a lot. You don't want to pull a Bruno Guimarez, where this card, of course, was um, a very, very good card up until team of the season, 
But what happened was his card, which is now 140K and continues to go down, um, was 500K before Premier League Tots. And so you're looking at a card that got replaced by the 93. The 93 was too easily packable. It was you know, slightly better in terms of face stats. So even though he doesn't have that five-star weak foot, it was still, you know, obviously, if that's going to be 200K, this is not going to stay 500,000 coins. And so you've got to be very careful with your investments and make sure that when you make an investment on these cards, these aren't going to get replaced by another card that's going to be cheaper. So when I talk about Vinicius Jr. or Benzema, we can kind of look into this and be a little bit safe because here's the deal. This Vinicius Jr. card at two mil, that's too expensive. But this one at 91 rated is not bad at one point. Uh, even that is a little bit expensive. Let me look at his hourly graph right here. If you can get him for 1.23 or 1.24, you're looking at a good deal. I would not spend close to 1.3 mil. Uh, but as you can see, he has dropped into the hype of this promo. And his team of the season card is not going to be 1 million coins. His team of the season card is not going to be 2 million coins. His team of the season card is not going to be 3 million coins. It's going to be 4 mil coins or beyond. It could very well be even more expensive than that. So a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford that 97 rated Vinicius Jr. And they're going to go back to the cards that already exist. So with that being said, you're looking at a 91 and a 92 Vinicius Jr. That could rebound in price. Benzema follows the exact same thing, except... This 97 Benzema is, of course, competing with that TOTS card. Will the TOTS card be 96 rated or 97 or 98? We don't know that for sure quite yet. I haven't seen any people pack him in that TOTS player pack yet. Obviously going to be one of the more uh, difficult cards to pack. But we'll see what they end up rating him. If they rate him as a 96, but the 96 is really easily packed, this card could actually come down farther. But if they rate his new card at a 98 and it's super expensive and really difficult to pack, this card will rebound right back up, maybe up to 2 mil, which was well above before the hype of this promo. So 2.4 mil is what was chilling at about two weeks ago, and he has dropped about 700 to 800K. That is due for a rebound if the situation is right. So keep your eye on those cards. And here's the thing. You can wait until 6 p.m. UK on Friday to make these investments. And of course, those are higher budget examples, but they can be used at any card uh, in the game. So Luka Modric uh, or any of the other um, La Liga team of the seasons, if they have a tradable card that still keeps up with the power curve, uh, those could be very, very good options. Just make sure that you are taking a look at what their team of the season card looks like before you make that investment because it could go one of two ways. There is some risk right now, and if you wait till 6 p.m. UK on Friday, that eliminates all of the risk. Our pack luck today has not been terribly great, of course, but we're going to test it with this ultimate pack that I've saved up and see if we can pack a team of the season Bundesliga before La Liga comes out tomorrow. But the secret comment of the day is going to be what is my current but champs playoffs record? I showed it to you at some point during this video. If you were paying attention, you might remember it. If not, you might want to go find it. And if you can figure that out and comment that down below, I will make sure to heart your comment and I will pin the first person to type it as well. The first person to type it will get pinned. But don't cheat. Go find it and comment that down below. Let's go ahead and open up this ultimate pack. Of course, we're shooting for 200 likes today. And we don't get a blue in the ultimate pack. Is at least going to be super high rated. Oh my god, it's 84. I don't think we should open any more packs today. This is blasphemous. Absolutely abysmal. I feel like I'm on punked right now. I just opened up a pack with 30 rare golds. And I didn't get anything above the rating of 84. 84. And none of these are going to be tradable. Which means that I have to throw these in another squad building challenge somewhere. Which... I don't want to do right now because my pack luck stinks. All right, guys, that's it for today. I will see you again tomorrow. Peace out.